Ravens cornerback joining us now on the herd, 18th overall by the pick by the Chiefs in 2015. Um, so, Marcus, you tore your ACL. I can relate. I tore my ACL once, too, uh, a long time ago playing women's league and soccer. Not the same thing. Mm -hmm. But I do relate to the rehab of an injury like that. To me, the rehab from an injury like that, that is the harder part. Like the initial injury obviously hurts and it's rough, but that's the part that really takes the emotional toll is trying to come back and, and staying focused on your rehab. So how has rehab been for you? It's been cool. It was rough at, at first, not going to lie. You know, with me, uh, it's not been my first time getting hurt ever in my career. So uh, it was rough, you know, the post-surgery and, and all those things, you know, I just had to lean on my family, you know, um, Ain't on my teammates, and you know I stuck around the facility after surgery and stuff, and you know they that kept my spirits up. But um, through the process, now it's just been cool. I just been grinding it out, trusting the process. Well, you're in the off season now, obviously, and we are approaching the 2022 season. And overall, for the Ravens, I was just talking about this with TJ Hushmanzada. You guys had mm -hmm. big expectations going into the season last year, but you got absolutely crushed by injuries yeah. at the beginning of the season. Not just you, but it just felt like everyone. Like what was going on there? So, what what is the energy you guys have going into this new season? Obviously, you're rehabbing, and some other guys are as well. Because mm -hmm. to me, I feel like everyone's just forgetting about the Ravens. I'm like, Ravens yeah. are gonna be a problem this year when they have everybody healthy yeah i think man the biggest thing for us is just to get healthy you know uh, do what we can do to uh, make sure that we can be able to compete at a high level once it's time for us to hit the field and once we do that man i think the uh product gonna speak for itself we're gonna we're gonna be ready to play football all year long you know if, if we can make it make it through a whole season with uh injury free man we, we something to reckon with talking to Marcus Peters, Ravens cornerback. So obviously Lamar Jackson is, he's a face of the league. He's someone that I, mm -hmm. I really enjoy watching play. And especially when he's healthy, he's one of the most dynamic players to, to me in league history. But what is it about Lamar? What is it about his personality, his <laughs> leadership that he brings to this team? Cause I think he's just, he's also perfect for the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, man. I'm, I think he's just a unique uh, individual just all the way along. Uh, I've been watching those since uh, college, man. He's been, and just doing the same exact thing that he's been doing in college, man. Just being who the person that his mom uh, raised him to be. You know, he a good family dude. You know, great dude off the field, man. He's good with people. Uh, and he's a hell of a competitor, man. You know, dude like that, I'm willing to go to battle with him all day, every day. You know, uh, he's just, he's trying to be great, man. That's the beautiful thing about it, man. He understands all the expectations people put on him because he's so athletic. But uh, he challenges himself every day, every week, you know, to get better. You know, become, you know, just to be to become that excellent quarterback we need, you know, because we know that it starts with the quarterback with everything that the league do, you know, so and you know, the the, the better he get, the better we going to be. Marcus, what's it like with that organization? Because I grew up in Pittsburgh, so I, I'm, I'm a mm -hmm. Steelers fan, but I also have a lot of respect for the Baltimore Ravens. <laughs> you know, it's like a healthy rivalry. But I think yeah. they're one of the best-run organizations in in sports, not just in the NFL. Mm -hmm. uh, top to bottom, just strong leadership, obviously yeah. a, a culture and an energy to everything that they do. Is that something that really helps support you guys as players? Not going to even lie. Um, you know, me been coming from two organizations, then coming up over here, like you say, just the history of the Ravens organization, just me being a, a fan as a youngster, man. They they took care of their players and uh, their players let us let this place a lot. And um, you know, to be able to 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 come bless, you know, be blessed with the opportunity to play for an organization like this who care about the players, you know, um Coach Harbaugh, man, before COVID hit, you know, when I first got in, you know, on Saturdays, I was able to bring my son you know, and chill with the other players and uh, other players' families and things like that. It was just a big family-oriented uh, place, man, and I just fell in love with it. So you guys selected Kyle Hamilton with the 14th overall pick. Mm -hmm. What kind of impact can he have on the Ravens' defense right away? Man, just be ready to work, youngster, man. You know, we're going to put in some work uh, with the Ravens, man. We're going to get you prepared to uh, play fast and play physical. Uh, we're trying to put out a brand of football uh that man, expectations is already set high because, you know, just history shows that Baltimore Ravens are, uh, that's a defensive place, man. You got to be ready to play at a high level and um, just be ready, dog. What is it with the Ravens defense that's that's different? Because as mm -hmm. you just said, they are a historical place when it yeah. comes to defense. Obviously, you have Lamar Jackson and the dynamic mm -hmm. offense, but when I think of the Ravens, I think of defense. It just start with you think of the Ravens. It start with Ray Lewis. You feel me? And then it trickles down to Ed Reed. It didn't trickle down to uh, Big Nada. And then you trickle down to Terrell Suggs. And it just got a whole lot of more that you just add into that list. And uh, 
for me personally, I just want to be a part of that list of, of grace to play uh, a part of the organization, you know, uh, to be on a defensive uh, place like this. Um, it's special, man, because defense going to ultimately win you a championship. We've seen what happened this year in the, uh, in the uh, Super Bowl. AD stepped up and made a play, man. So that's, you need the defense to uh, bring you home. No, you're absolutely you're absolutely right about that. That was a huge place yeah. in the defense that, that made the difference. And and I'm a defense girl. Obviously, uh, I I love when a defense makes a, a huge play, especially now the way that the mm-hmm. the league is trending, where all the rules kind of benefit the offense. It's harder on you guys to be able to to have the impact without you know being officiated in a, in a different way. Is it harder yeah, on defensive players nobody. now? <laughs> is huh? it harder on you guys now the way that things are officiated? Yeah. I mean, money talks, man. So, you know, they want points <laughs> on the board. So we're going to get more flags. You know, we, we we can't talk our mess how we used to. But, um, hey, man, it's, life is a, a, all about adjusting, man. So we're we going to adjust, man. We're going to do what we can do. Uh, I mean, the biggest thing that I learned from uh, from OGs and stuff is go holler at the rest before the game. And, uh, please, your case. <laughs> you know? Well, I like that mentality. Uh I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys healthy and on the field again. Best of luck with your mm-hmm. the rest of your rehab. And um, good luck this season, Marcus. Thank you so much for stopping by. Sure. Thank you for having me. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.